Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. In the last episode, we created the lazy loading modules and we also kind of created the route routes for our modules. Today, we are going to extend that the same and going to fix the activating the current route. Right. So if you remember in the last episode, that was the pending part of the routing, which is to highlight the present or the active current route. That's what we are going to fix it in today's episode. All right. So this is mean stack complete live project development from scratch. Uh, please do support this project. Uh, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like comment and share these video tutorials with your friends and colleagues. All right, so so far we have done all the six uh, episodes where we have done initial groundwork of setting up the framework application, creating DB schema and models. Uh, in the last episode, we set up the lazy loading modules. Today we are going to fix up the enabling active routing. All right, so pretty simple, straightforward, uh, nothing complex today. Uh, what we are going to do is for the routes, we are going to enable it um, attribute, which is router link active equal to true. Once we do that, uh, it would Angular would Angular router would know that if we are on the current route, it would be highlighted, right? So let's get started. Let's get that done. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go to the loans UI project, go to source, and in the sidebar, right? Uh, let's go to the HTML, right? So what you'll do here uh, is you will I've copied this link, right? So we'll copy the same for all the links here. And instead of href, that's what was it earlier. Now we are going to make it router link, right? So we are just copy pasting, which is router link equal to active and router link is equal to customers or loans. In this case, it would be payments, right? So make it payments. Uh, the reason we make everything active is because it will only be highlighted if it's active. Now what is active here? It's nothing but it's a CSS class, right? So I'll just define that also, right? Uh, invoices, this we are giving a class, right? So it is a class name of what we are saying should be shown when we are on that page. Loan types and here it would be reports, right? Uh, make sure that you get this right. Um, it has to be in the single quotes. A lot of times people make mistake like this they just put it in double quotes. So you'll see error. I'll show you that also in just a bit. Let's first enter for all URLs and then I will show you where you will make mistake for sure. If you don't make a mistake, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy. All right, so settings and done. All right, so we have updated all our routes. All right, now we have active link. So go to CSS. So you have here dot active color blue. Right. Um, so let's take up for now. Let's make it blue color and make it text decoration underline. Okay. And I'll just start ng serve. Okay. Let's do ng serve. It's taking a while to build. In the meanwhile, please do consider subscribing to the application. Please do like, share, comment on the videos and tutorials. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you want me to build. I'll be more than happy to build that. All right, so our application is up and running. Now let's go to uh, the local host. Okay, so now you see it's blue color underlined. Go to payments, it's blue color underlined. You see customers is already underlined. So let's check why. Uh, looks like there would be router link active equal to so this is the reason it's active right so I just removed it now you see now it should not be so wherever whichever link you are that's the only one that should be active right so that is highlighting the link which is currently active right so dashboard is still not so let's fix up the same with dashboard Right. Um, so here we need to give the same and call it. Just paste it here. Dashboard. Okay. So there you are. 
now it, once it reloads so now we are on dashboard loans customers payments invoices reports so see here it's shifting right so that enables our routing strategy in the sidebar right so now whichever route we click that's the one that's active right so that so far that's done all right, um, that, that's what I wanted to do in the quick one. Uh, that was the one that was pending since yesterday. Um, all right, so in the next one, what I'll do is I will map all the component template designs that we have done, the static designs, and move them into the UI components. That way, all our static work is moved into our Angular application, and then we can start with our coding, right? Cool, very cool. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll see you in the next episode where we'll do the UI component mapping from the static design will lift and shift into our angular application thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode